everybody, how are you doing? I'm so glad to see you. So today we're gonna to learn a story about one of Jesus's friends, Lazarus. So as Jesus arrived in Bethany, he was told that Lazarus had already been in his grave for four days. Pretend to cry because they were sad. <laughs> Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had only been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that God will give you whatever you ask. Jesus told her, your brother will rise again. Everybody lie down on the floor. Be real still. Okay, now get up. Good job. Yes, Martha said he will rise when everyone else rises at the last day jesus told her i am the resurrection and the life anyone who believes in me will live even after dying everybody wiggle wiggle your bodies to show that jesus gives us life Ooh, he gives us wakes us up every day and puts breath in our lungs where have you put him jesus asked they told him lord come and see so they left and they went to where they had buried Lazarus. Roll the stone aside, Jesus told them. But Martha, the dead man's sister said, no, 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 no. He has been dead for how many days? Do you remember? Four, that's right, four days. Smell, Phew, pee you. Ooh, everybody pretend to smell something stinky. Ooh, pee you. So they rolled the stone away. Jesus responded, didn't I tell you you would see God's glory if you believe? So they rolled the stone aside. Then Jesus looked up to heaven. Father, thank you for hearing me. You always hear me, but this time I said it out loud for the sake of all these people standing here so that they will believe that you sent me. Then Jesus shouted, Lazarus, come out. And the dead man came walking out. His hands and feet were bound in graves cloth and his face was wrapped in a head cloth. Jesus told them, unwrap him and let him go. So hop around like Lazarus did when maybe when he came out. He had to shake all those cloths off of him. So jump up. Everybody jump around. Jump. Shake, shake, shake. All right, have a seat. Good job. So Martha maybe didn't believe all the way until Jesus showed her. But Jesus could only do this miracle because of the Father, because of God. And as he thanked God and he trusted in God, anything can happen. So as we celebrate Easter last week, we need to remember that Jesus is always with us. We might not see him, we might not feel him, but where do we keep him? In our hearts, that's exactly right. Let's pray together. God, I thank you for these boys and girls. I thank you for sending your son, Jesus, to show his love, to share his love, and teach all of us how to love the way you love. Father, I thank you that we're able to share these stories together. Keep our families safe and healthy, and in your name we pray, amen. So let's pray the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples to pray, the way we've been ending chapel sometimes. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us for our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. You guys have a great week this week and I will see you next week.